Hi guys and welcome back to the Tommy Starcraft channel, it's your host Tommy with game number two in between the two pro players here from the South Korean scene. Once again a leather game from 2024 as we have spawned here in the upper right in the yellow. It is Flash with his AK, with his barcode AK and his opponent who is spawning here in the upper left in the blue. It is 1Z, 2Z, 3Z. Sadly I don't know what the AK from who this is but obviously also a South Korean pro as they're chatting here in South Korea. Uh, for spawning location mob, once again, it would be very interesting to see what exactly they're talking about. And yeah, very soon we're going to be, of course, checking out the builders just like we do in the previous series here onto this channel. So quite interesting chatting going out here in between them. Let's see if there is going to be a fast expansion builder here for the Zerg and what the intentions from uh, Flash are going to be here. Currently he's just placing his supply depot once again very close towards his... Um, man center and of course you can see the production tab here in the upper left part just in case i'm missing something i believe an overload is going to be produced here by the zerg and very soon he looks like he's going for a fast expansion build order as he's saving now money for a second hatchery and also producing some more drones now a barrack should be followed up here by flash there it is I'm not deciding to move it out and to block the entrance just Placing it here next to his ramp. And there is the first scouting SCV here for Flash. And there is the hatchery indeed for the Zerg. So straight into the hatchery here for him. No spawning pool or gas yet. They will be followed out very very soon. As the drone is now moving out here for the Zerg as well. And there we have the SCV from Flash now. Let's see if Flash is once again going to be going for Bio. Or is he going to transition just like he did in many previous replays here into mech so he really likes those tanks he also likes his vultures and is it going to be once again a mix with some um, science vessels in the air it would be very interesting to see if this is the new perhaps new meta for him mixing the bio with the mech for the terran seems to be working out really really well for him versus the zergs as the drone is already being a little bit annoying here for the zergs so now he knows exactly where Flash is um, situated. At the same time, the SCV now finally makes his way towards the main here from the Zerg. A spawning pool is about to get finished. The first Marine is also about to get finished. We are going to be checking out the tier 2 upgrade or if there's going to be a tier 2 upgrade here for the Zerg. That's exactly what this SCV is doing here. Very important SCV indeed for Flash. Gives vision and we are closing in towards the tier 2 upgrade. Either that or another expansion. It is indeed going to be a tier 2 upgrade. So it's either going to be Mutilis here for the Zergs. Many Zergs will like those Mutilis. But it will also be some Lurkers. Even some Hydrolis with some mass Zerglings. Push for the Zerg as the SCV might get surrounded very soon. Already taking a little bit of damage. So the uh, Zerg nicely fending this uh, scouting SCV away. Second SCV is already getting uh, sent out here by Flash. So very smart move, the one SCV is getting chased away, the second one however will be able to give vision for him again as even the marines are now moving out to deal some damage towards the Zerg. So very smart move indeed, uh, Flash really wants to know if it's going to be Mutisk or Lurkers and we see a second uh, barracks getting produced, so no factory for him yet. There is the SCV now coming in forward, a very smart move indeed by him, no sunkens of course yet here for the Zerg. As he knows that even the year 2 will finish very soon. There is the SCV and the Zerg is now moving forward. But there's so, so many Marines here. So, uh, Flash should be able to hold this easily. Might even snipe a Zerg or two. In the meantime, I believe he saw the Spire. As he's just roaming around here with the SCV. Actually, no, he's just checked the proximity of the um, expansion here. And now he's once again moving forward to see indeed that the Spire... He has started here for him and we have very soon of course he has to react with some engineering's bay with some turrets as the ramp is also nicely getting blocked here with some marines so the SCV is still roaming around we see a zerg colony so very fast reaction here by the zerg quite a actually a second colony so looks like the zerg really thinks that flash is going to push here forward with some marines but no such thing I believe he's going to cancel the zerg colonies really really soon However, at the same time, there's also many Marines, so this could be a push by Zerg as um, the steam pack has just started now. So 
he decides to finish one sunken, another one is getting as a reserve, and the CV has been sniped with the Spire about to get finished. There's quite a large number of uh, Marines here indeed, and the Zerg only having one expansion decides to play it more safe, decides to secure it with some Sunkens, even the second Sunken now is getting produced. Same time a nice sneaky move out, but Flash looks like he's ready to react with some fire bats to push this away as those Marines are also moving out with the Medivacs. Two Sunkens already, I believe another building is going to get produced here as cover or EC. No, actually Flash deciding to pull back. There's two fire bats here for him. This time, however, the floodgates have been all opened and some Marines will be sniped very, very soon. So the Zerg with a nice move here forward, being able to deal some damage, even sniping the SCV. And yeah, the Zerg is really, really fast with that upgrade, causing a little bit of chaos here, forcing Flash to actually stay back and defend as some uh, turrets will be finished. The first Mutilis are also getting produced here for him. Of course, this is going to get um, cleared. Still no second expansion here for the Zerg. Just a macro hatch into this location. I slowly but steadily we close in towards the 10 minute mark and interesting for him he did forget about those two two mutilis gear for him so a little bit of a mistake here finally he's reacting and he is moving them all together of course he was very likely thinking that some mutilis are also missing let's see where exactly he's going to decide to attack flash now on a defense where exactly are the mutilis are going to fly here forward lots and lots of turrets are about to get finished and some marines will very likely take some damage. I saw so many mutilis gear just roaming around and there's the steam, but there's also the first snipe here as the number of the mutilis are really, really high. Eight of them versus the defensive uh, marines here from Flash. That several even has some units here, even a fire bat into this one bunker. So the Zerg is pretty much just roaming around, just trying to find some good pickups, trying to snipe one unit after the other. Maybe even trying to snap the medivacs, let's see, but also taking quite some damage. Weapons one is about to get finished here for Flash, as the both players just trading blows now. And still no second expansion here for the Zerg, as let's see if he's going to be able to deal more damage. One mutual is taking quite a large amount of damage. And yeah, now getting microed out of danger. Let's see, still only six mutilis now here for the Zerg, so he might transition into something else. He's actually going for his tier three. So we might see some defilers, we might see a transition into some ultra risk. It could be, a, of course, a possibility here for him. Ultra is very, very strong into the late game, as those mutilis are still just picking up unit after unit. But now we finally see a reaction from the Zerg. He has another expansion. I believe this has might have gotten scanned by Flash, as he's now moving out with his Marines with one weapons upgrades. About to get finished. And actually, also the tank is about to get finished, so we might see a timing push at around the 10 minute mark. With some tanks, with some science vessels, the uh, armor is also getting started. Flyer alarm and some lurkers will also be produced here for the Zerg, just for defensive purposes against the um, many marines. However, Flash needs to be careful not to get surrounded by those Zerglings and by the Mutilisk, as still the expansion here is getting secured by a Mutilisk. And yeah, let's see how things will unfold. Quite a large amount of units here for Flash as two Marines get snapped. But he has some great, great reinforcements in the rear. He just needs to be careful not to get surrounded. But not that many Zerglings. There even is a fire bat here. And still units into the main to defend. So the Zerg playing a nice uh, gameplay here. Snapping some units. Really, really getting a lot out of those Mutilis. Just snapping Marine after Marine. Very, very smart uh, micro here. And a very fast moving Mutilisk as he's just still roaming around the map just try waiting here for Flash to move out and once again I believe he could be lucky into snapping more and more Marines as he's just nicely buying time here for his expansion and for those lurkers to hatch even having the defile amount now getting finished and siege ability is about to get finished here as well so the Zerg keeping Flash at bay Flash is very likely going to secure this expansion right here just to be more oriented into a macro game. Let's check his main really quick. There is a starboard and a factory. Let's check the Zerg very quick. Going really, really heavily into those defenses, but of course, Flash having a tank also going for Irradiance. So the pretty normal Terran versus Zerg matchup here, as we very soon will pass the 10 minute mark. The Mutals are still getting some nice pickups, but also getting some damage. 
as the important damage dealers will of course be the tanks here for flash even one science vessel so we see rush did this many times into the asl it's a nice timing push here in order to win the game but one tank dropping really really low i believe an scd has to be called to repair this one and there is vision it's very important to have a science vessel and of course there is range attack against the sunken with the tanks so the tanks will be the important damage dealers a good vision here but we do have two scourges very nice micro here lucky micro here for uh, flash of course and now even the marines are moving forward but he needs to be careful there's also many lurkers in the back there's defilers also here in order to secure the position with dark swarm and now we even have the reinforcements pulling forward so it's looking looking like a very very strong move here by the zerg as the nidus worm just delivers some drones there so the expansion already quite in danger here from the zerg as he's only relying now onto the dark swarm with the lurkers a group of marines have been sent now into this location but the zerg of course thinking about that as well and at the same time some overlords are getting sniped here so very good defense with the dark swarm with the lurkers in the back let's see what flash can do with his marines here already dark swarm has been casted as the zerg looking like he's going to secure the high ground with the lurker here into the dark swarm so very very nice stuff by him lots and lots of flash damage could be taken here for flash if he's moving forward but the real damage is happening here of course but dark swarm once again is getting casted so very very nice spell indeed to have the defilers looking really really strong into this 2024 matchup into a zerg versus the terran so what exactly can the plan here be for uh, flash he could try of course a drop into this location but now the zerg actually feeling confident to move out with his lurkers flash has to unseach has to retreat so some drop ships would be a nice idea for him even some battle cruisers and in comes the move out but i don't really agree with this one as there is finally the dark swarm but some damage has already been taken here by the zerg as flash is securing this position right here dark swarm has expired more hatcheries are getting produced here by the zerg and it looks like uh, flash has pretty much abandoned this location right here as he's now moving forward to the newly established base from the zerg or is he, is he regrouping into the middle of the map securing his expansion right here and having even yet another expansion right here into this location so pretty much going for a nice like i told you macro oriented game the zerg might fall behind if he's not reacting very quickly against the massive expansions here from the Terran and even flash might try to take this expansion here as well notice how he's always leaving a group of a small group of marines with some science vessel in order to give security towards his expansion so look at that he even has a group into this location so nice nice stuff by him the zerg decides to play defensively expecting more attacks and dark swarm with lurkers will be of course the answer but flash looks like he's going to keep him at bay not allowing him to move out let's see what the zerg can do here i believe he should be fine but there are some mines onto the ground however lots and lots of splash damage could be taken here by flash as now the lurkers will be able to end this attack off and push back flash a little bit he's regrouping into the middle of the map he is bringing his reinforcements and his expansion also looking really, really strong now finally in comes the move with some mutilis but we do have marines all over the map and the regrouping is going on i believe that flash has pretty much abandoned the uh, barracks and once again he's going very very heavily into mech into the late game actually after the middle game and we now see the reaction from the zerg he's going for ultra risk is it going to be enough here as so so much splash damage could be taken here by flash he needs to be careful irradiating of course those defilers very very smart but also taking damage from the lurkers there and now he even has vulture so it is going to be a full uh, macro orientated mech game here by flash all of a sudden as he's just pretty much irradiating all of those defilers once again keeping the zerg at bay and just pretty much expanding all over the map and now transitioning into vultures, vultures with tanks look at that the barracks are just pretty much being abandoned here floating here over the zerg nicely reacting moving out with his zerglings taking over quite some damage the medics nicely healing those marines and more and more units are just flooding here the map as you can see it on the minimap very very nicely with the yellow lots and lots of mines also here to keep the zerg at bay but remember the zerg has an either swarm so he can be very very mobile onto the map and i believe that's exactly why flash is just pretty much expanding all over the map just orientating into the uh, late game let's see if the ultra risk will be able to change something here into this game 
has more and more defilers and high risk are getting produced here. Flash just holding his position, just getting more and more map security, map awareness here versus his opponent. Just pretty much patrolling the map. You can see how much map vision he has. Berserk played a little bit more defensively, but also macro oriented as he's also taking an expansion right here. So things also look very, very good for him. He could also secure this expansion right here as Flash is just very, very close by with his vultures, with his mines. And now we have yet another move out with Marines, with no tanks actually, just mass Marines with medics. And where exactly is Flash going to attack as now the vultures are moving forward, scanning the area. There's so, so many scourges onto the air and the vultures are just pretty much just laying the mines, waiting for the reinforcements as they pull here forward for Flash. Lots and lots of Marines. Let's just check the upgrades very quick. 1-1 one, one for him. And the Vultures are really, really fast. No Sangans here for the Zerg, so perhaps a mistake by him. As he's pretty much caught off guard, the Vultures really, really fast. Moving forward, there is an Idus as one, but all of a sudden the Zerg in some serious, serious trouble as Flash is just moving here forward with a small group of Marines. The reinforcements are in the rear. He's taking some damage out of the Lurkers. But yeah, those Vultures securing this uh, mining point right here. They could even snipe the Defiler. They could have even moved here forward towards the other location. But Flash decided to play it a little bit more safe, just sniping the reinforcements. However, this will be very likely cleared very soon by the Zerling. So interesting enough, Flash deciding not to move here uh, forward. I believe he was thinking that there would be a lurker, but no lurkers for him. So a lucky strike here for the Zerg. As now Flash is pretty much throwing everything he has, going for the Knight just immediately, sniping the lurker. Very, very important to snap the lurker just to give more security towards those Marines. Same time, Zergans are moving out, they will be taken care of. However, now the aspirated trick once again is being done, but the Scourges are just pretty much chasing those um, science vessels away. However, still some science vessels are being alive, and he's just pretty much clearing here all of those drones, just aspirating them with uh, the spell here onto the science vessels. Irradiate, of course, so just pretty much irradiating everything, just like an aspirator onto the ground. Very, very nice move. Notice that the science vessel is not taking damage out of the irradiance and only the scourges will be able to take them out so yeah a great great move by him sadly for the zerg he dropped two 39 workers and now the barracks is giving more and more vision as the tanks are also very very close by so the economy sadly here for the zerg pretty much in shambles the vultures have done a great job and then the aspirator trick with the science vessel he could even once again irradiate himself and let's not forget that he's pretty much having fa factories and expansions all over the map as now the tanks are slowly but steadily moving here forward towards the expansion point. We do, however, have Ultra Risk onto the ground, so the Zerg is pretty much still into the game. Just needs Defilers with Great Storms versus the tanks. And yeah, just Flash once again patrolling the map. Where exactly is he going? He decides to just give more security to, towards his other expansion here. So played very, very safe. Very, very much respect towards his opponent. As he's just pretty much securing zone after zone with those tanks. Did he do any upgrades? Of course, one, two, two. Let's have a look at the Zerg very quickly. Uh, three to one for him. The Zergling is also one, one for him. Scourge is nicely patrolling the air. And now Flash just pretty much spreading those mech units all over the map. Spreading the mines, securing his uh, positions and the reinforcements. It's going to be very, very hard here for the Zerg to push out as even the Lurker immediately getting destroyed here by the tanks. Interesting enough, Flash decides to go for the lower right part here. I believe he's expecting an attack, but no such thing is going to happen. Perhaps he's expecting a drop by his opponent, having control of the high ground. Let's see if those overalls have any units. Indeed, there are Zerglings here for him, but not that many. However, splash damage could be taken by the tanks. A little bit of a desperate move here by the Zerg. The tanks do, however, hold their ground, and they're slowly but steadily pushing here forward against the expansion from the Zerg and you can see from the supply flash closing towards being maxed out the Zerg really is really struggling now but he does have full risk he does have those Zerglings onto the ground he's keeping on expanding here he has taken however quite some damage and let's see what the next steps are going to be flash deciding to attack on two different fronts securing this location right here the Zerg tries to counter with some drops but there is of course going to be the GG here as in the end just flash Pretty much had way, way too much for him. His transition worked out really, really well. And those vultures really, really fast sniping the um, drones right here. And I believe the, sh the science vessels, of course, just killing way, way too many um, workers here from the Zerg around, I believe. 
around 20 workers, so the economy was pretty much crippled into the newly established bases here from the Zerg. And yeah, with that, Flash shows us once again that Mac is very, very strong into the middle of the game, into the late game as well. The Ultra is going a little bit too late, but still a very, very good game here by the Zerg. A very, very fast defiler gameplay by him with Lurkers. Perhaps it would have been better for him to be a little bit more aggressive against the Terran. Let's just check the stats very quick. As I'm going to be clicking once again left and right. So a very good game by both players. Perhaps a little bit uh, too much of a defensive gameplay here by the Zerg. Those Defilers would have been of course great into attacking the expansions from the Terran. However, the Zerg decided to use them a little bit more too defensively for him. So still a nice nice game. Maybe you guys know who 1z, 2z, 3 is. And yeah, you could let me know, of course, into the comment section. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Tommy, signing out.